I mean, maybe he just couldn't take the heat. Like, this, this is this is a lot. I, I kind of feel bad now. Can't even imagine the the, the shit you gotta go through. Ah, see, we gotta have a conversation. Hold on, hold on. Sobu, my man, right? I like your intentions is that, that you are power tripping, bro. Salute him back, man. Like, I understand you lost your job, but accept your flaws and move along. I get your intentions, right? I like the fact that you're, you know, b bothered about a crease or a feather or a piece of hair in the logo or, or the emblem. I, I understand. See, I like that. I kind of like Sobo. I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. I, I, I don't know. Yo, what is going on, man? How y'all doing today? Welcome back. It feels good to say that. Now, today, what I got cooking up for y'all is something that's been highly requested, highly recommended right before I left. I started watching the war genre movies. I went into Saving Private Ryan, which was just absolute cinema. 10 out of 10. Hacksaw Ridge. 10 out of 10. Just, just insane uh, detail. Uh, everything about those movies, it, it made me want to, you know, stick with this genre, right? And then from that, you guys recommended me Band of Brothers. I'm not sure where it's taking or what, you know, what era this is taking place in, but I know you guys recommended me this show a lot. So it has to be. I'm a, it's going to be good. I know it is. Um, now, before we get further into it, you guys are probably wondering what the hell is behind me. I got movies, shows coming up next, right? This is the list and not in any order, particular order. But this is the the movies that I got in mind that I've been that I want to watch, right? Again, no particular order. We got Peaky Blinders, we got The Iron Giant, we got How to Train a Dragon, 1917, another you know another war movie. Now I know this list is kind of crazy. You got How to Train a Dragon and 1917 next to each other. It, it's just it's not in any order. <laughs> and then we got The Green Mile, we got Dune Part Two, which I, is still in movies uh, at, at theaters. I might be making a mistake in um, by not watching it in theaters, but I'm gonna sacrifice it so that you guys can see my my first time reacting to, my reaction to that. And then we got Inception, which I'm yet to see. Uh, uh, yeah, don't don't ask why. I'm just yet to see. All right. So that yeah, that that's pretty much all we got going on here. Again, Band of Brothers first uh, episode is called Kurahi Kurahi Kurahi. I, I'm not quite sure how to say that. Episode one. All right. Hopefully you guys do go on and enjoy. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. We were in a store, and a guy in that store told us to put our uniforms on. And what the hell are you talking about? He says, the USA is in a war with Japan. We couldn't believe it. Well, our country was attacked. It's a different. It wasn't like Korea or Vietnam. We was attacked. And, you know, it was a feeling that uh, maybe we're just dumb country people, but where I come from, but... Uh, we a lot of us volunteered. Who would like to volunteer for the tank corps? Who would like to volunteer for the Air Force? Who would like to volunteer for the Navy so, or whatever? And then uh, they said, is, who would like to volunteer for the Airborne? This is World War II, right? Nobody ever heard of it. We came from a small, small town, and three fellows in that town were, that were 4F committed suicide because they couldn't go at different times. Oh, he said they committed suicide because they couldn't go, not because they went and they had to serve because they couldn't go. Like he said, different times. No, that, that that's crazy to take in, bro. That's what had to be done. Guys said, well, you jump out of airplanes. You know, you got all your army equipment, and you jump out of airplanes by, uh, to fight the enemy. I guess they said, go to hell. Nobody put up their hands. And then I don't know what it was, brought it up, but the, the guy giving the, the speech was saying, but you get paid $50 a month more. So that made it 100 bucks. And 100 bucks back then were, phew, that was money, man. Executive producer Tom Hanks. Oh, interesting. And now, now just by the little, you know, trailer not not really trailer but intro it's it's gonna be a, a a wild ride eh i mean that was a great intro i'm not gonna lie band of brothers here we go oh boy i'm not i'm not sure if i'm ready for this but here we are part one korahi june 4th 1944 upatori 
Upateri, England. Airborne. with rain and fog. High winds on the drop zone. No jump tonight. The invasion has been postponed. We're on a 24-hour stand down. Bitch. That just means they gotta stay longer, right? I'm still thinking about what he said. The guys committed suicide because they couldn't go. Five o'clock in New York. Couple of drinks, maybe an early dinner before the theater. Civilized place for civilized men. Should have been born earlier, Nix. What, and give up all this? A lot of people took pride, you know, in going. This is what they wanted to do. They wanted to serve. Actually, you know, it's from there. Oh, oh, him. Two years earlier, Camp Tsukoa. Georgia. Georgia. Who's him, by the way? He said, you know who's from there, him. You people are at the position of attention. Private Picante, have you been blousing your trousers over your boots like a paratrooper? No, sir. That explained the creases at the bottom. No excuse, sir. Volunteering for the parachute infantry is one thing, Percante, but you've got a long way to prove that you belong here. Your weekend pass is revoked. And oh. Lord, judge. Just for a crease. When did you sew on the chevron, Sergeant Lipton? Yesterday, sir. Long enough to notice this. Revoked, sir. Wow. Rust on the butt plate hinge spring, private bullshit. Revoked. Like this it's gotta be perfection. Now, thanks to these men wow. and their infractions, every man in the company who had a weekend pass has lost it. Change into your PT gear. We're running Curry. Curry. Okay, there you go. Curry. Yeah. Just for the slightest of things. Revolt. Private White, why are you not in your PT gear? Oh. I asked you a question, Private. Private White. Curry, we stand alone. So if you if you fall behind, probably get punished, eh? Punished. All day, all night, with or without gear. You fall behind, yeah, it's over for you, buddy. Channel winners. What is it? Mission to speak, sir. Mission granted. Sir, we got nine companies, sir. Yeah, we do. Well, I come we're the only company marching every Friday night, 12 miles full pack in the pitch dark. Why do you think, Private Randleman? Lieutenant Sobel hates us, sir. Lieutenant Sobel does not hate easy company, Private Randleman. He just hates you. <laughs> 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 so I want canteens out of belts with the caps unscrewed. Easy company, canteens out and open. On my command, they will pour the contents onto the ground. Pour them. Well, there goes all your water. Who is this? Christensen, why is there no water in your canteen? Was this man ordered to not drink from his canteen during the Friday night march? He was, sir. Private Christensen, you have disobeyed a direct order. You will fill your canteen and repeat all 12 miles of the march immediately. Jesus. Yes, sir. Fall out! Oh, my days. 12 miles, no water. And he has to do it again. What the God are you doing with my company? You're late and you allow troopers to disobey direct orders? You're making me look bad, Lieutenant. And under my command, this will be the first and finest company in this regiment. I want the names of six men, their infractions, and your disciplinary recommendations on my desk by 0130. Is that clear? What infractions, sir? Find some. 
What do you mean find some? McDonald, Toy, Bacani, Lipton, Muck, and Garnier. Why them? It was our turn. <laughs> Sobel's a genius. Oh, you just broke both your legs, Private Gordon. Are you trying to get yourself killed? <laughs> no, sir. Are they practicing parachuting or what? Get up, man. Get up. Hey, I mean, this is real life, man. My, my respects to anybody that goes through this, man. To the top and back, and I will be watching you. What are you waiting for? The top of what? Curry? He? Come on, buddy. Yep. Is that motivation, man, brothers? Performance record in the entire second battalion. I believe every bit of that is thanks to you. Isn't that Lieutenant Winters leading Easy Company in PT? Yes, sir. He's a damn good man. I was planning on giving him a set of these today. Why don't you do it? He'd be proud to get them from you. Pornography, contraband, non-regulation clothing, contraband. How is it, Private Private Tipper? has spare time for so much correspondence. Captain, a personal letter is to be considered contraband. These men aren't paratroopers yet, Lieutenant. They have no personal property. What is this? Anybody. It's a can of peaches, sir. That is incorrect, Lieutenant. Your weekend pass is canceled. This is United States Army property. Whose footlocker is this? Private Parks, sir. Get rid of him. All weekend passes are canceled, officers included. So you're just not going to give him the medal, huh? Lieutenant Winters. Oh, wait. Colonel Sink has seen fit to promote you. There you as go. As first okay. lieutenant, you'll serve as my executive officer. I'm about, I'm about to say. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I am designating you mess officer. 14 days. Company breakfast to be served at 0600. I think a, a special meal before their afternoon off would be a welcome change of pace. Would you agree? Yes, sir. I like spaghetti. That's got to be one of the best feelings now, getting promoted. Like, you you worked so hard to get to this moment. What has changed? Get up! Lectures are canceled! Easy Company is running up curry! Move! Move! Ah, 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 ah. There's some tension going on there. I don't think he likes the way he's doing things. You finish? You do not deserve to get your wing. I mean, bro, after you ate spaghetti? Nah. That's torture. This is torture right here. He's shocked. Either he's shocked or he's proud. He probably wanted to see them fail, and they didn't fail. This will be the first of five exits from a C-47 aircraft scheduled for today. Get ready! successful completion of your fifth and final jump, you'll be certified Army paratroopers. There'll be a lot of men dropping from the sky today. Hopefully, under deployed canopies. Jeez. Imagine being the first one to jump. Oof. All you have to responsibility do right there, man. And I guarantee you gravity will take care of the rest. Hopefully. As long as that shoe pulls. And gentlemen, rest assured, any refusals in the aircraft or at the door, and I guarantee you, you will be out of the airborne. Are those dusty jump wings? How do you expect to slay the Huns with dust on your jump wings? <laughs> three miles up, three miles down. Ten, hop! Can they just enjoy a moment? That's how it is over there, huh? Anytime, any place, anywhere. Bang. Well, at ease, paratroopers. Eat, 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 
Parachute infantry is a brand new concept in American military history. If I got to 506, he's gonna forge that brand new concept into victory. Yeah. Yes, now you deserve this party. So I want you to have fun and remember our motto. Karahi! Karahi! Uh, I got it now. I I I see. Karahi. June 23rd at 1943, Camp McCall. Said I was two years ago. Now I'm assuming we're... We're in the wrong position. Well, how does that happen? Position. We're taxable position for ambush, sir. I think we should sit tight and let the enemy team come in our killing zone. They're right out there somewhere. Let's just get them. Deploy your troops. Let's just get them. Yeah, just yeah. Let's just get them. That easy, right? Come on. Oh, you can't be. Yeah, I mean, come on now, no. Captain, you've just been killed along with 95% of your company. Your outfit? Easy company, second battalion, oh, five oh six. It was a drill. Yeah, that's on him, bro. You take pride in what you do, man, but you cannot be doing that. Nah, that was uh, insane. Nothing. That's a leader? Congratulations on the promotion. Oh, thanks. You want to call it that? You'll learn him pretty quickly. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of rumblings. Sobel? So, he gets a little jumpy in the field. Mm -hmm. He gets jumpy and then you get killed. Yep. That's nice. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Second platoon ready? Ready, sir. Then get them information. We're moving out. Yes, sir. I mean, hey, once you stop down on your leader, there's got to be some changes, man. He just got his man all killed. All because he was hungry. He was trigger happy. Ah, nah, 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 nah. You gotta admit, he's got no chance. Either the crowd still get him, or one of us. Who, Sobel? Now, they must have put him in charge for a reason. Yeah, because the army wouldn't make a mistake, right, Chef? Hmm. Because the army wouldn't make a mistake, right? So don't tell me. New York City, troop ship, England. We're invading Europe, my friend. Fortress Europa. Fortress Europa. Morning. Oh, this could turn into a real nice trip. <laughs> Uh, that's a nice way to wake up, eh? Good morning, indeed. September 6, 1943. Brooklyn Naval Shipyard. Naval. Dear sir or madam, soon your son will drop from the sky to engage and defeat the enemy. Your frequent letters of love and encouragement will arm him with a fighting heart. With that, he cannot fail, but will win glory for himself. Make you proud of him and his country ever grateful for his service in its hour of need. Signed, Herbert M. Mm. Sobel, Captain, Commanding. That must be a feeling like no other feeling right here, man. Hitler gets one of these right across the windpipe and pays me 10 grand a year for the rest of my fucking life. 10 grand a year. You get paid that now? <laughs> as long as he's a paratrooper. Oh, yeah? What if that paratrooper turns out to be Sobel? If I'm next to Sobel in combat, I'm moving on down the line. Look up with some other officer <laughs> like, uh... And so they really have no respect for Sobel, huh? September 18th, 1943. They have no trust. Airborne England. Or Alborn. There are two basic types of fighting positions. The first is a prepared position. The advantages of a prepared position are that it gives you cover and concealment. That was a Thompson, right? The one before, the, not. I think they have Thompsons. I might be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, that one right there, the one that he's holding. Sobel's late. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be late? Why is there a fence here? Why is there a fence here? Tipper, <laughs> give me the. Oh, bro can't read a map. Pecani, nah. Guys, get the men. Get them. Take cover behind those trees. There should be no fence here. Um, <clears throat> we, we could go over it, sir. Yeah, I could just... Really? <laughs> could just... That's not the point. We're the goddamn... We're the goddamn hell are we? Fogel's lost again, right? Yeah, he's lost. 
Again. Can you do major what? That's all. All right, just watch. Three. Isn't that the intersection? No, sir. It's here. You were full grid off. Oh, nah. Come on, sober. Who said that? I think it's Major Horton, sir. <laughs> Major Horton? Nah, he what knows. He, did he join us? What is the goddamn holdup? Offense, sir. Um, God. A barbed wire fence. Oh, that's all. Now you got that fence to get this goddamn platoon on the move. We have to move, sir. Without Captain Sober in first platoon, you gotta start making decisions, man. Sobel ain't the guy. He ain't the guy. Just turn around. Me facing my responsibilities. We'll get to it later. Oh, can't go that way. <laughs> We're gonna go back. <laughs> You've done it now, Yanks. You've captured me. Would that be the enemy? As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> Who was the idiot who cut that man's fence? I was ordered to oh. sir. Major Horton, sir. Major Horton. The cows. Yes, sir. Major Horton Not told the you to cows. do that. Yes, sir. Major Horton ordered you to cut the fence. Major Horton is on leave in London. Oh, they done. They done goofed up now. Oh, they fucked up. Time to run 30 miles, day and night. Come on. Lieutenant Winters, with Captain Sobel's compliments, sir. No, sir, I do not understand. Your orders to me were to inspect the latrines at 10 hundred hours. At 10 hundred hours, I followed your orders to the minute. I changed that time to 0945. No one told me, sir. I telephoned. I'm courted with a family that has no telephone. And sent a runner. No runner found me, Captain. Irregardless, when given a task to perform by a ranking officer, you should have delegated. Were to let such a failure of duty by my own XO go unpunished, what kind of message? Okay, so have? he can't take responsibility I'm for a, his flaws. Okay, so, Sobel. Punishment for your offenses will be denial of a 48-hour pass for 60 days. Stand before me at attention. Or you may initiate a letter of appeal and request a trial by court martial. My endorsement, sir. I request trial by court martial. Damn. So we're going through with this, right? We gotta do something. Yeah. 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 All right. We could be lined up against a wall and shot. I'm ready to face that. I will not follow that man into combat. I hereby. No longer wish to serve as a non-commissioned officer in easy company. I ought to have you all shot. Oh. There's nothing less than an act of mutiny while we prepare for the goddamn invasion of Europe. Right. Yeah. You are hereby transferred out of my regiment. I can see why so, it looks bad, yeah. though. All of you NCOs have disgraced the 101st Airborne. You can consider yourself lucky that we are on the eve of the largest action in the history of warfare, which leaves me no choice. Spare your lives. But surely that's got to ring some alarms, bro. If people are coming to you saying that this leader, you know, it's got to be signed. If it, if it was just one, then, you know, maybe he hates him or something. That's respect right there. Damn. They respect him. They risk their lives because they don't have any confidence in Sobel. I can only speculate, sir. Most of the men would, would never do this. But... There you go. I believe just a few of the sergeants may have felt their loyalty lay more to the platoon than to the company. And these few sergeants convinced all of the other NCOs in your company to turn in their stripes? As staff sergeants, they have a great amount of influence, sir. But as I say, the rest are good men. I know them. I, I can work with them. Your command of Easy Company has been exemplary. Thank, thank you, sir. Yeah, not because of him, though. I believe you fielded one of the finest companies of soldiers I've ever seen. Division has established a parachute training school at Chilton Foley. The idea is for non-infantry types who were vital to the coming invasion, such as doctors and chaplains, to take jump training there. Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. Sir? Yeah, buddy, you're out, man. I'm reassigning you to Chilton Foley. You're out. Now, is that a promotion or is it not, not really, right? Yeah, I don't think that's Those a promotion. Easy company? Yeah, well, when a bunch of your men come to, to you speak, sir. and Grant. they say this guy ain't a leader and I'm not following him and I, I'd rather die 
is who who will be replacing me? Lieutenant Meehan from Baker Company, a senior. Good luck at Chilton Foley at Herbert. Don't let us down now. No, sir. No, sir, he said. I mean, maybe he just couldn't take the heat. Like, this this is this is a lot. I, I kind of feel bad now. And maybe it wasn't even his fault. Like, he just couldn't handle it. Like, it, it, can't even imagine the, the, the shit you got to go through. Ah, see, we got to have a conversation. Hold on, hold on. Sobu, my man. Right? I like your intentions is that, that you are power tripping, bro. Salute him back, man. Like, I understand you lost your job, but accept your flaws and move along. I get your intentions, right? I like the fact that you're, you know, b bothered about a crease or a feather or a piece of hair in the logo or, or the emblem. I, I understand. See, I like that. I'm sure a lot of people were like, nah, this guy's over exaggerating. You know, it, 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 get him out. You know what? Even the smallest of things, you got to be looking good. You got to be ready for what's to come. Obviously, he himself isn't ready because he's lost. He doesn't know how, what he's doing out in combat. So talk the talk. Walk the walk. You know what I mean? So, Sobo, eh, I, the difference between uh, Lieutenant uh, White, he cares about his men. It looks like, you know, people actually respect them. Sobo, he lost the respect. And that's where it all went downhill for him. But you know what? I, I, like I said, I kind of kind of like Sobo. I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. I, I, I don't know. I don't. May 31st, 1944, Pretoria, England. That's all, mate, Tommy. Tommy's. I'm Bush. Is all this real? Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hey, Mac, you got a Luger? I'm dying to get my hands on a real Luger. Yeah, go on in. Quick punches, yeah? A Luger. Bang. Hey, Petty! Hey, mate! Oi. <laughs> you're having a ball if you think you're off, isn't you, Nate? <laughs> <laughs> hey, where Sorry. do you think you're going, man? the toughest training the army has to offer under the worst possible circumstances so when things got really bad the man in the foxhole next to them would be the best not some draftee who's gonna get him killed are you ticked because they like me because i'm spending time to get to know my soldiers i mean come on you've been with these guys for what two years never put yourself in a position where you can take from these men On the last training jump, I had a compass. So, it's Normandy. Oh, D-Day. Oh, no. Seaborne infantry will hit these beaches in force at a date and time to be specified. H hour, D-Day. Each trooper will learn this operation by heart. Now, between our assembly area and the battalion's objective, there is a German garrison right here in this area, San Marie de Mont. Easy Company will destroy that garrison. Three day supply, it's your time. Rashes, chocolate Easy bars, Company. Charms, candy powder, coffee, sugar matches, compass, bayonet, and trenching tool. That equipment gas, must mask, weigh a ton. I, I, exactly how much does do their equipment weigh? With all that running, swimming, shooting. So chief of the Kokomo Police Department, right? Whoa. You gotta love cops. Ooh. All right, listen up, listen up. If you did not sign your GI life insurance policy, you go on over and see Sergeant Evans at the headquarters company tent. You boys don't let your families miss out on $10,000. That's crazy, man. Oh. Sign your life insurance because you never know if you're going to make it back. Garnier's brother in Italy, Henry, killed in Monte Casino. Oh. Well, I'm sure he doesn't know. Damn. What do you think I should do? If it were me, I'd tell yeah, him. You gotta tell him, man. A couple of hours before we jump? I don't know. Yeah, that's tough. Soldiers of the regiment. Tonight is the night <laughs> of nights. Today, as you read this, you're en route to the great adventure for which you have trained for over two years. Easy company! Listen up! Channel Coast is socked in with rain and fog. Oh, we're, no, we're back. Ah, I got it. I got tonight. it. I got it. June 5th, 1944. Pottery Airfield. A pottery. Is that how you say it? A pottery airfield. I can't speak. I can't read. I'm 
I mean, the thoughts that must be going through your head right now, not knowing if you're going to come back. Got something you might be looking for. To get jacket by mistake. Sorry. You read it? Oh. Sorry about your brother, Bill. Sorry for my mom. Second platoon, listen up. Good luck. God bless you. I'll see you in the assembly area. See, now that's a leader. One by one. Lifting them up. That's a brother. I mean, look at how heavy their equipment is. They can't even get up a flight of stairs, man. You know, so far, I'm liking the storytelling. You know, it's all leading up to this moment right here. What they've been through, what they have to go through, the emotions. That's a tough shot right there. Yeah, I, I, I like this, man. And now here we are. This is probably going to be the toughest part of the journey, you no? Know? Like, once you're in battle, obviously you're in battle. But going towards potential death. You don't know if you're going to come back. That thought. You know, the thoughts that must be going through your mind. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen are there as a force. You are about to embark upon the territory, which has shown many moments. The eyes of the world are upon you. That's heavy. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Man, that's intense. All right, man. So that was episode one, Band of Brothers. We obviously understood and what now Karahi is. Again, this Sobo guy, he 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 has great intentions. It's just he didn't get the respect because he didn't care about his people. And that's the number one thing. I think you got to build that chemistry. You got to build that love. Family is brothers, Band of Brothers. They're your brothers out there. I want to know what you guys think about Sobo, right? But yeah, episode one was, was great. It was pretty long. I, I believe this series was made in 2001 which is crazy. I mean, it, it looks great. The scenery and everything, it just looks great. The, 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 um, the score so far is amazing. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Yeah, Sobo. I wonder if he's going to come back. Like, I, I don't know if they, he, he might come back. Who knows? Yeah, Lieutenant White obviously got the respect of his soldiers, of his men. Hence the reason why they literally went up to the higher up and said, you know what? I'd rather be stripped out of my uniform than be led by uh, Sobo, which is at the time, remember what they said at the beginning, you know, guys committed suicide because they didn't go. That, 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 that's, that's deep. That is deep. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time for episode two. Um, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this journey. It, it looks insane. It, it's leading up to this moment. They, they're going out in battle. I don't know, man. I don't know. Here we go. Band of brothers episode two next time around. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Peace out. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day. I'm out.